Hello. I'm really excited to talk to you about a new project I've been working on with 1418 Now and the Imperial War Museum. The Imperial War Museum approached me a couple of years ago um, and they asked me what could be done with their original First World War footage in a way, just to present it in a way that hadn't really been seen before. And I thought about all the digital technology that exists today um, and, and can we restore that footage and make it look new and make it look sharp and uh, you know in a way that goes way beyond what has ever been done before. So we did some tests and uh, the results were, I mean they really surprised me, they, they were unbelievable. We can make this grainy, flickery kind of you know sped up footage look like it was shot in the last week or two. It looks like it was shot with high definition cameras, it's so sharp and clear now. And so we are making a film and, and, and we're making a film not the usual film that you would expect on the First World War. We're making a a, 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 a film that that shows this incredible footage in which the faces of the, of, the, of, the, of the men just jump out at you. It's the faces, it's the people that come to life in this film. It's the human beings that were actually there, that were thrust into this extraordinary situation that defined their lives in many cases. And we also, in accompanying these, these restored images, we have gone through about 600 hours of um, audio interviews with, with our veterans, you know, in the 1960s, 70s, 80s. And we have... We 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 we've made a movie which is is to is to show the experience of what it was like to fight in this war, not strategy battles. You know, not we we don't talk about any, any historical you know aspects of the war. Particularly, we just talk about the social experience of being in this war, and the human experience of being in the war. And it's actually amazed me what some of these people or what some of the veterans. I mean, their their interviews I've never heard before, and. and they talk about it in a way that's surprising. We have a sort of a cliched version of the war, I guess. We, we now, a hundred years later, we have made up our own minds what, this, what the First World War was like. But I think it's going to be very surprising when you listen to the voices of the men that fought the war and were there and experienced that they had to live it, what they had to eat, what they, how they slept at night, um, you know, how, how they coped with the fear. Um, and... You know, that combined with these incredibly sharp images is going to, I think, be quite a surprising film. I think it's absolutely impossible to describe how excited we are about this project. Working with the combination of uh, the Creative Arts Commissioning of 1418 Now, the, the broadcast and audience reach of the BBC, and the creative genius that is Peter Jackson has just been amazing for the museum. It's a unique opportunity for the archives because what we want to do is to take film that is very often dismissed by audiences because it's black and white and use it in a colourised way to engage young people in a conversation about the First World War that perhaps they wouldn't encounter. And you have that combination of the arts audience that 1418 now bring, the great audience reach from the BBC and also those people who follow the work that Peter does because of his attention to detail and his incredible storytelling ability. Ability.